U.S. Customs and Border Protection has confirmed previous CBS News reports that illegal border crossings have reached the lowest point of Biden's presidency. The agency's latest update shows migrant encounters were down to about 54,000 last month. That's 75 percent lower than in September 2023, and it's also the lowest level since August 2020. As we've been reporting, immigration is a key issue this election. Our Omar Villafranca is on a 1,690-mile journey from Texas to California along the U.S.-Mexico border. On Tuesday, he made a stop in Columbus, New Mexico, on his way to Arizona. Omar joins us now from Douglas, Arizona. Omar, you're getting places fast. What can you tell us about your travels the last 24 hours? Well, when we went and left Texas and went into New Mexico, uh, you were seeing big parts of what folks here call the Trump Wall. Now, there was a wall here that was built uh, by the Bush administration, the first Bush administration, uh, but now we're seeing parts of, of the Trump Wall. Uh, we were in uh, Douglas, New Mexico, and we talked to two business owners there. One of them was also the mayor. He runs a motel in town. Uh, an interesting note, he told us that they, again, want more business coming in over the port, um, and... Interesting enough, he is a Republican, but he says he will be voting for Kamala Harris this time. We also talked to uh, a business owner who, who said that they want more people coming in and they want elected officials to stop talking about uh, how things are dangerous there. They say border towns are not dangerous, they are not scary, uh, and that they feel that really affects the business and future business and people wanting to come to their border communities. Omar Villafranco, we'll be following your travels all this week. Thank you so much. Thank you.